Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. The enormous toll on people's mental health over the last couple of years from our COVID-19 pandemic response hasn't been talked about anywhere near enough as it should be. I read an article a couple of days ago that was very sad regarding overdose deaths in the US state of Maine. Drug overdose deaths increased by more than 20% in Maine. The number of drug overdose deaths in Maine increased by nearly a quarter in 2021. The Portland Press Herald reports an estimated 636 people died of overdoses last year, up 23% from the previous year. And sadly, it's not only the US state of Maine. This has been replicated across the country. Here's what the CDC had to say about it in November. Drug overdose deaths in the US top 100,000 annually for immediate release November 17, 2021. Provisional data from the CDC showed that there were an estimated 100,306 drug overdose deaths in the US during the 12-month period ending in April 2021, an increase of 28.5% from the 78,056 deaths during the same period the year before. And remember, the overdose deaths we're seeing here are the tip of a devastating iceberg. Underlying all of this are soaring rates of depression, substance abuse, alcoholism, many of which I have seen myself at the front lines in so many patients over the last 18 months or so. And remember, this is disproportionately affecting younger people. Look at this horrible headline here from October in US News. Liver transplant saw as some Americans drink their way through the pandemic. This is a really sad topic indeed, and I can vouch for it, as I said, as a frontline physician. I've seen these effects over the last couple of years. When we've had lockdowns and restrictions, it does have big, big knock-on devastating effects. That 100,000 number is the first time in US history overdose deaths have reached that tragic milestone. And that's why I say to all of these people out there, sad to say some of them in my own profession who are so gung-ho about restrictions and lockdowns, how do they do this and be so myopic and not see the knock-on effects, the collateral damage, because that is absolutely enormous. And fingers crossed, as we come out of this pandemic, and we get more data, and I don't doubt that there's going to be more and more devastating data that's going to come out regarding many health conditions, but here I'm talking mental health, that we look back and think that this was not the right thing to do in so many different ways. And if it ever happens again, we cannot go so short-sighted into something and not realize that by having certain policies in place, there will be devastating consequences down the line. And in this case, sadly, it has mainly been for younger people as well. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are down below on this tragic issue, mental health, COVID-19 policies, and soaring rates of depression and overdose deaths which have reached this awful milestone, 100,000 in the United States. I'm sure we're going to see similar statistics replicated in many other countries. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, Medstoic Lifestyle Medicine. You can also follow me on locals.com. It is an uncensored platform. Link is down below. We'll speak again next time.